Okay, uh, welcome to today's Next Level session. Uh, we do have a topic, and that topic is RSS feed-based KV Core custom pages. Uh, we've touched on this a few times in recent weeks, uh, but we haven't done a full kind of organized session about it, so I thought today might be a good one. And Patricia's happy. <laughs> She's like, yeah. Uh, Raphael, uh, glad you're back. Um, probably, uh, if you're not on these, uh, hopefully that means you're busy. So that's cool. And uh, as always, in case you're wondering, if you're watching on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And we do post most of these, a lot of these to the YouTube channel, and also all of them get into the next level members area. So insiderealestate.com slash webinars is the direct kind of hop link over to the playlist. And then uh, the next level members area is available from the marketplace. I guess I'll plug that real quick. If you go to coaching, you can start a seven day trial uh, for the next level mastermind. Uh, Raphael says the next level is the best investment he's ever made. That's very nice. Thanks. Uh, yeah, it's not it's not very pricey. We just need to charge something just to so my bosses, you know, feel like I'm doing something, I guess. I don't know. Uh, so let's go ahead and dig in on this topic right here. Uh, RSS feed KV Core custom pages. What is RSS? Uh, this was a term that was kind of a lot bigger as Web 2.0 kind of came uh, hurling around, you know, in the late 2000 aughts or so, like 2008, 2009, uh, maybe a little earlier, um, and it was really hot. You know, people were doing all kinds of cool stuff using RSS feeds. Um, I hacked a Philadelphia real estate site and got it to rank number one um, by pulling in syndicated content. And at that time, Google would actually crawl and rank that content. Duplicate content wasn't such an issue from an SEO perspective. And uh, the uh, indexability of property search listings wasn't something everybody had. So everybody's website didn't have crawlable real estate listings. So I was able to pull in via RSS uh, some real estate feeds. I think I used an IDX provider to do that, like uh, Diverse Solutions or something. And uh, that worked really well for a while. And what RSS is, is it's a web feed that allows users and applications to access updates to websites in a standardized computer readable format. I lifted this off of Wikipedia, by the way, that's the source. Um, and it can allow a user to keep track of a lot of different websites in a single news aggregator. So a lot of us back in the day probably had like Google News or, or RSS feeds. There were all kinds of services that did this. Some people may still use these. Um, and then you don't have to manually check these sites. But the other thing we can do with RSS is, is what we're going to do today is you can kind of take those feeds and pull them into websites and make it human readable content. Uh, you know, make it kind of content on your website. So how we we might use RSS with KV Core and our real estate business uh, is one, uh, to create engaging custom pages. That's makes, we're gonna show that here next. Uh, but along the way, just keep in mind that as you see this content, you can use it to blog about, email about it, or share it on social media. So if you're subscribed to real estate-based RSS feeds, um, you might see something that then becomes something that's shareable that you can post to your Facebook account, for example, like we did the 420 thing yesterday, just to remind people you're in real estate. So uh, that's another big use here. So let's dive in and show this process of creating a custom page from an RSS feed. And I have a few links to some real estate specific feeds here. I want to make this a little longer, uh, but let's just say, let's start with the bigger pockets feed. This is what a feed looks like if you directly visit the URL. It'll look like gobbledygook, like an XML file here. Um, but let's just say I want to create a real estate investing news page, right? Real estate investing stuff on my KV course site. So I can come over here to web and IDX. I can go to site content. And then I can navigate to custom pages. And I'm going to create a custom page. So I'll click new page. And I'm going to call this page uh, real estate, real estate investing news and tips. And if you want, you can give the source some credit. So I could say from bigger pockets, you know, something like that. Um, the source is actually going to get credit. You'll see how in a minute, because all of the links on the site, this is actually very, very good for the person who's providing the fee from an SEO perspective. So um, because what you're basically doing is you're giving them a bunch of hyperlinks from your site to theirs and Google likes that. And where we're going to go is we're going to go down to the options and I'm going to go to RSS property feed. 
just like this, just like so. And then for you admins, I'm not quite sure because I haven't tried this yet, but it says add to child sites. I wonder if this creates a page on other sites. That I'm not quite sure about that, if it does that, but it might. It might add this custom page there. But I don't need to put anything in the content body here. Test above. I want to see what happens if I put test above. Maybe I can put like an intro to the feed. And then I can put the feed down here. And I'm going to click save. It's going to give me a little warning and says, hey, you need to have selected a category. So I'll put this in my stuff you might like category, or I could create a new one, but I'll just put it under the stuff you might like category. Now I'll hit save. And then I'm going to come up here and go to my website. So up here. And then under this stuff you might like, where I put all these examples, I'll see my real estate investing news and tips. And I can click on that. And I did the test above. I wanted to see if I was able to put content above, but I can't. If I do that, then it doesn't show the RSS. So that's something you guys now learned with me live. So I just want to see if that would work. So I'm going to get rid of that, click save, and try this again. Did I break this by putting something in there or by trying to do this live? <laughs> this has worked before. I wonder if by putting something into this page, the one time if I broke it right here. So bear with me. I'm going to try that real quick again without putting something there. Investing. Feed in here. Hit save. Now I've got stuff you might like. I don't refresh. There we got stuff you might like. Let's see. Or I may have, ah, I chose a bunk feed that is not working with this. Or I broke the feature because I'm doing a webinar about it today. Now, those of you who are on with me in the last few weeks, you have seen me do this and you have seen it work, right? This is <laughs> slightly embarrassing, but. This page, the last time I did it, it worked totally fine. And now it's showing up blank. Why, why, why? Why, why, why? So this is how it's supposed to work. I'm supposed to be able to put my RSS feed in right here. And then the feed is supposed to show right down below. Oh. <sighs> It is working here for Mortgage News Daily. So this is how it's supposed to work. I'm not sure what that issue is, guys. I apologize. But you can see what it's doing is it's pulling in all the content here from that particular feed. So this is a feed all about Mortgage News. And it puts interesting dynamic content on your site. Um, it's always up to date with the latest posts. So there's some benefit to that. It looks to Google like every time they crawl your site, there's some new stuff. Uh, it does give a hyperlink out to the provider to read the full uh, post. So right here, they click, they'll go out to the full post like so. I just want to see. Interesting. I wonder why that isn't working, but this one is. Let's take a look at that. Because I know that the National Real Estate News one worked. This one, the CNBC one, did work last week. Okay, so that's there, like so. So uh, I do know that also, I think Patricia, you were using or somebody at your office was using um, uh, Keeping Current Matters. They give you an RSS feed that you can use. So that might be a service you guys check out. Uh, Keeping Current Matters has a few. Right, the KCM RSS feed. Well, we'll go ahead and plug. We'll take a look at that. Keeping. And Patricia, did you have a link to that page? Maybe I can show everybody if you don't mind. I can't remember if that was you or the other or uh, Ivy. That was you, right? You've done it with KCM. Uh, if you guys have more, a link to that, that might be kind of cool. Uh, but I, what I like about those is that some of the RSS feeds guys will put images in the feed, and it makes a nice, really nice looking page. And that KCM feed is very good looking because it, it puts like a thumbnail image with each one. Uh, but the idea here is that if somebody's on your website, it just makes it richer. You've got more content. 
Um, it's something you can link to from your, your campaigns, right? You can uh, have like a PS, you know, to see all the latest mortgage news, check out the Mortgage News Daily link on my site. Uh, and it just makes your site a little more stickier. Now, is this going to make you a ton more money and help you close a whole bunch more deals? Uh, no, but it's kind of an interesting thing, <laughs> right? Uh, it, it does give you some more dynamic content on your site and uh, could make it a little stickier, like I just said. So that is the how. Uh, I'm going to have to look into why these two feeds didn't work. I, it just strange to me that two in a row wouldn't. I'm going to try it one more time. So here's the Bigger Pockets blog feed. Bigger Pockets. This select category. Very strange to me. And it hits save. And then uh, let's go to big pockets. All right. Well, the disclosure, the disclosure I'll have, blamer I'll have to make is that some feeds want to seem to want to work and some don't. And uh, if I find out why, I'll, why I'll let you guys know. The Mortgage News Daily seems to work fine. The format of those is the same as the bigger pockets. Uh, it could be that I just got unlucky here. I was doing some research before, and uh, maybe the ones that I chose, these two examples, weren't compatible. So here's uh, Patricia's page. So yeah, this, this is really nice with the image. I think the image is a really cool uh, deal. And if you're looking at an RSS feed, so let's go to some real estate RSS feeds. There's this article out there that gives you about 100 of them. You can probably actually tell if there are images in the feed by going to the feed. So if I go... If, if you go, sometimes you'll see that there's images in it. So if I look in the gobbledygook here, it says image URL 150 by PNG, if you want to get a little geeky about it. So this is the realtor.com RSS feed. I don't mind. I'm just going to see if I can get this one to work. This is funny because the, the few times that we've tried this in passing outside of a webinar like this, it's worked totally fine. Um, and then I just happen to pick a few feeds that don't want to cooperate today. So we'll go down to the realtor.com RSS feed. Yeah, well, that one came in. Um, it doesn't share the images, but that one worked fine. So it could be that the bigger pockets one I chose, I'll get that off the dock there. Uh, could just be that for whatever reason, it's not proper. Um, so yeah, you do need a separate page for each feed, Ivy's asking. Um, you know, you can't put multiple feeds on the same page. Now what you can do, now, now we can get a little crazy here, um, and we can merge RSS feeds together. I've done this in the past, so I'm Googling something. So here is, you can combine several feeds into one feed. So you could take a few, uh, use a tool like this, Uh, RSS mixer, that was the tool, right? They want <laughs> they want a uh, contact info. So we should you can find tools that will combine and customize RSS feeds. It's 18 tools. Feed combine. Let's see if that one's charging right now. Bank feed. So you could take them here. They have some pre-built ones, but you can also post your own links in here uh, and go to feed. Okay. That one didn't wanna work either, uh, but you can combine feeds <laughs> if you want. Now, I don't know. For sure why you'd want to do that, but maybe you just want to have one page instead of 20 pages on your site. It's kind of where I was going with, with that. Feed Blender. And you can see a lot of these are older because this was kind of all the rage 10 years ago. 
right? You see some, some of these aren't even in business anymore, but I'm sure if you look, you'll find one that'll work for you to merge them together. Yeah, it might be the bigger pockets one. Okay, so, so you can merge them. Uh, also know that you can create RSS feeds for your YouTube channel and your Twitter account. So I linked to an article here if you do want to kind of pull in your latest uh, videos. I don't think it'll pull in the video itself, um, but it'll probably link to it. So if I come here, I'm going to put this link in this browser. If I go to our YouTube channel for Inside Real Estate, find my channel ID. So you just go click the icon and go to your channel. I'll take this, put that at the end here. Okay, now we've got a feed and let's just try to pop this in here. So I'll come down to the bottom, RSS feed, YouTube test. Save and let's see if we can pull in an, a YouTube channel. Ah, it's one of those didn't want to work. So I'll do some more digging this afternoon um, on this, guys, on the more kind of advanced geeky, but but really, you know, probably just news, mortgage rates, a couple of these. You don't have to go crazy adding 20 of these to your site, but if you want to put dynamic content onto your site, uh, RSS feeds are an interesting way to go. So that's kind of what I had today. Just a little tip for you there. I just wanted to cover that on a standalone webinar just so we get it down. Um, Rafael had a question about video ask. We did actually do a session and you missed it. You missed it, you missed it, you missed it. But I did a whole session about video ask probably two or three weeks ago. Um, and that would be... Either here or in the members area, but it did happen. Promise. It's this one adding third party overlays and scripts to your KV Core website. So I'll drop that link in the chat, in Zoom, and everybody else, uh, you can watch that. It's from 3 30. And I believe we went into uh, the video ask. And what Raphael was alluding to is this kind of thing with me right here. This is a widget from video ask. And then it'll bring up me talking to people and then they can do different things on my site like this, check their property's value. So yes, that definitely did happen. So any other questions, guys? Um, <laughs> thanks, Raphael. Yeah, we have it on thanks today. Um, any other questions or things you wanna go into today? We can go into the Q&A section. Uh, that was our treatment of the RSS feed stuff. Again, I wouldn't, spend a ton of time on that, but just put it in the back of your head. It is something you can do. Uh, for my money, if you like Keeping Current Matters, their feed seems pretty cool and decent and it has the images. Maybe you just, you know, if you're using that service anyway, maybe just add one of their pages to your site and call it a day. Um, uh, the other thing you could do is, you know, maybe put feeds in for uh, real estate listings in other markets. Uh, you know, like if, if a lot of the people in your market happen to vacation somewhere else, you know, maybe you can have a page that links to a referral partners feed in that market. There's a lot you can do. So how to add a page real fast. Yeah. So the way to add the, the custom page is you just go to Web and IDX, if that's the question, and you go to website content, and then you click on custom pages, and you click new page. So the uh, Google page right here, I will share with everybody. Apologies, forgot to do that. Anyone with link and share, copy link. And I'll share it in the Zoom now and try to get it in the, uh, below the recording later on YouTube. But yeah, the notes are right there. So yeah, that's uh, that's what we got. If there aren't a lot of questions, we can call it a short day. Uh, or if there's anything KV Core related, I have some more time that you just kind of have questions about or you want to dig into. Um, uh, oh, the other thing I'll mention why we're kind of here in this Web and IDX, 
this is kind of a new thing that I haven't done yet, but you can pull in blog posts from a third party WordPress site or a WordPress site that you have. So if you had a blog on WordPress that you wanted to pull in, you can do that here and import them as blog posts. Now, now what I'm wondering, <laughs> we're gonna hack a little bigger pockets, XML. No, I think you need, that's, those aren't available front end. I was wondering if you can import the actual XML file. Oh, now I'm just, now I'm, now I'm going a little down a rabbit hole, but this feature will let you pull in content as blog posts. So I just <laughs> grabbed a random, uh, the bigger pockets pod beam XML, and I wanna see what it does. Am I going to regret doing this? I might regret doing this. I might have like 50 blog posts to uh, delete from my site. <laughs> yes, there is a website that gives you a list of uh, good real estate feeds. Here we go. I'll put that in a doc. Uh, 100 real estate feeds. So I just dropped a link to the Zoom watchers and I'm putting it in the doc now. And oh man, I hope I didn't just, I did that really quick, trying to be smooth and slick. I hope I didn't just import thousands of blog posts onto my KD4 site. That won't be fun. I might've just broken the world. Okay, didn't do that. But basically you can import your blog posts if you have an XML dump from another WordPress site you can import them and make them blog posts on KB4. That's the long and short of that. And, that, and the tool is right here. So hopefully pulling that XML file in there didn't do that. Just by show of hands, we don't have a ton of people watching today, but does anybody here have a, um, a real estate website? Uh, on, uh, <laughs> on WordPress? Does anybody have a WordPress website? Just wondering how many people are still using WordPress heavily or a blog. <laughs> Who's got a real estate website? <laughs> so if you've been blogging for years and you want that content on your KV Core site, this is how you do it. And the way to export an XML file from WordPress, um, I'll show you how to do that real quick. I don't have an active real estate blog that I can do this with. So I'm just gonna use my hustle sauce. I have a little kind of site, a hustle sauce that I'm putting marketing interviews and stuff on. Uh, but you can go to tools right here in WordPress and you can go to export and then posts. And then you can download an export file like this. Let's save. And then let's try it again here instead of trying to steal somebody else's here. Like I just did a minute ago and I, there's probably way too many posts and then it'll do this. Okay. That was much quicker. And then I think, yeah, did it, did it, it did it, it did it. You can see, I have all these blog posts in here from that other site that appear on my hustlesauce.com site. Look at that. And it pulled it in as actual content. So that feature seems to work really well. The reason it hung up before, because I tried to do it, there was probably a couple of hundred posts in that feed. Now, what I need to do is I need to, I knew there were only like six posts on there. I need to go and remove these, but, um, you know, be careful because if you have a ton, make sure it's content that you want to uh, import. You can import content only from specific feeds as well. <laughs> just get rid of these. And it seems to import them with the date that they were created on as well. So that's kind of cool. Here's Patricia's uh, WordPress site. Cool. So yeah, if you have uh, blog posts on here, and you want to pull them in the KV core, that would be the way to do it. Or you could just make a page with a feed. So let's just say you're blogging over here. Um, you know, every WordPress site has a feed. It's just slash feed. And you'll have an RSS feed here. Doesn't look like you have any, but 
And then each category in your WordPress site has a feed too. So we're going down the rabbit hole a little bit. Let's look at Justin's uh, WordPress blog. Oh, I was reading that as like namaste team. I was going to ask if you were yoga themed, Justin. <laughs> Just but I <laughs> namaste. Uh, but it's the namaste team. So yeah, very nice looking site. Uh, what theme are you using here on WordPress? I'll find out. I'm going to find out. View page source. Control U. Control U. W plugin. <laughs> great. Uh, Beaver Builder. Awesome. Did you do it? Looks great. So you use the Beaver Builder stack. And then if I go to a blog here, nice. Yeah, it looks really good, man. You want a gig? Um, I'm pretty sure our, I'm pretty sure the custom WordPress sites department here, uh, our professional services, <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're, they're pretty darn busy. Um, <laughs> so let me know. Um, but anyway, uh, see, so you have all these posts here. So in theory, you could either take the feed, right? From your site and make it a page. If you're sophisticated enough to have built this, obviously at this point you understand, but just for everybody else, um, you know, you can take the feed URL and make that a custom page on your site, or you can use that straight import tool and import all your blog posts as separate posts onto your KV course site. Oh, cool. Good to know. Namas, everybody, is Lithuanian for home. So that's what Namas team is. That's a cool niche. Do you um do you run ads in Lithuanian? Do you service that set, you know, is that kind of a niche where you you and I didn't even know Lithuanian, sorry for not knowing, but I didn't know Lithuanian was a, a language in and of itself. So that's kind of cool. Cause you can on Facebook, right? You can go in there and uh, target specific speakers of specific languages. Yeah, this is really nice, guys. This is a really good example of a real estate blog from Justin. Uh, I love the call to action above the feed for the subscribe. It kind of sticks out, right? You got the little shadowing behind it. It's blog post. You got the about section. That's how it's done. I'm um, just curious. Do you do you integrate KV Core into this, like with a search, you know, the search embed widget or any of that, or do you just kind of keep the two separate? Let me look at the home. And just so everybody knows, um, you know, you could use the embeds, so you could put your property search widget onto your KV Core site. Uh, one kind of unfortunate thing. <laughs> <laughs> is that I have that video ask widget and it tries to display because you're basically iframing in a page from your site, these embeds. Um, I'm guessing in video ask, I could probably tell it not to show on the embed small.php URL. I haven't looked into that yet, but um, you can put, you know, this widget on your third-party sites and people can search directly. All of those pop them over to KV4, but it is a possibility. Cool, Justin says he does do that. Justin, where are you finding your content is the question. I bet, well, my advice would be make your own. <laughs> make your own darn content. Guys, get on it. <laughs> or maybe Justin's using a service. Oh, 847 Studio, is that the, uh... so that was a legit question. 847 Studio, is that the content provider or is that an answer? Oh, cool. Oh, very nice. Cool. We'll give these folks a, a little plug. Nice to have. We have Keep Current Matters. Looks like these guys do custom social media stuff. 847studio.com. Cool. Yeah. And then, you know, coming up with blog content, we've done some webinars about this. You know, your blog could be as simple as, hey, here's the property of the week. I saw this awesome listing. It's listed by us. It's listed by another agent. You have permission to talk about it. It's got a great kitchen. Here's a picture. You know, it doesn't need to be that. You don't, you don't have to be that creative. Um, but also, yeah, this kind of content's nice, you know, too. So the buyer research page, cool. Buyer resources. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you for sharing this because here's an example, guys. And I want to bring this up. Here's an example of using the embeds, right? That KV Core gives you on your main blog. 
I think a lot of people go and they use our KV Core WordPress plugin. And that plugin is really powerful, uh, but it is 60 bucks a month or so. Uh, you know, it does require some technical uh, jibba jabba, as Mr. T would say. Um, and the easier thing to do for my money is just embed the search into your nice branded site um, and go ahead when people click that, it's going to just jump you over to KV Core. Uh, and Justin's done a great job, but the branding is kind of consistent, right? The coloring, the logo, it doesn't feel to the person like they've left, um, right? You have the namaste team.com and then here we're in KV Core, but they kind of pick up off your blog and they get going. Oh, and you've done it. You've got the, uh, the video ask going as well. Or maybe that's not video ask. That's another service. But it's very similar to what I did with video ask. I like this. This is really cool. Whatever it is. Yeah, thanks for sharing, Justin. Uh, you did not. <laughs> Justin said he coded that. Well. That's really cool. <laughs> um, is this code available for a fee? Because I think it's really cool, actually. It's really cool. Because you've got a couple of, it's kind of like having a link tree that pops up. Uh, I know. <laughs> yeah, that's really awesome, Justin. Maybe uh, maybe we could talk offline, but I think other, I think people will be interested in this, whatever, whatever code you've built here. <laughs> you don't want, yeah, you don't want to cross market. I know you're going to keep things separate. Um, but um, yeah, very nice, very nicely done. But I'm just gonna go away. Yeah, this is this is really advanced. Thank you for sharing. So nice little let's chat video widget. But again, the experience, uh, staying on topic. You know, you're at you're on a nice branded, designed WordPress site. WordPress, you can do whatever you want with. Um, you have tons of control. Uh, but you want people when they're ready to search with you to go ahead and be able to search. So you embed the embed code, the little snippet for our embeds here, our breakfast embeds, and people can search and, and hop on over. Um, I'd put that, uh, I don't know what it would do for page load, speed time, and all that other stuff, but maybe pop it down in your footer. I don't know. It might look cool, but just, you know, set it every page, they, at the bottom, it's like the last thing they can do. But that's probably better. A better use of that is probably whatever your core lead magnet is down at the bottom, like you know, click here to see uh, a list of income properties or potential for cash flow and then hop them over to a landing page or something. But yeah, I am not picking on you, Justin. This is really awesome. Really awesome. Um, cool. So I'm not seeing any other questions. Yeah, Patricia, that was a welcome video. Uh, guys, I don't know if Justin dropped the link. Uh, Justin, you, you probably don't mind if everybody goes and just takes a look at your site, right? Uh, we just showed it. It was the namasteam.com if you want some inspiration right there. Let's see what Justin's up to. Cool. Well, guys, if there aren't a lot of other questions, uh, we can call it a week. Um, I'll get the, all these replays situated in the members area and on YouTube. Um, warm welcome is a brand name of a video service. I see. Okay. Let me see. Warm welcome video service. I see. Very cool. Now that's like Justin custom coded his, but yeah, this is a similar kind of thing. Yep. His is not well warm up. Justin, just so you know, and uh, Raphael, you do this too. Sometimes, if you guys have your chats in the chat, you have it toggled to hosts and panelists, so I'm the only one who sees it. So, um, I do that a lot too. So you just toggle it to everyone if you want to share stuff. Okay, guys, uh, we'll call it a day. I hope you all have a really, really great weekend. Now, I, I'm I'm on vacation next week, but I'm going to try to sneak a session or two in, or have somebody cover me. Uh, you'll see. Uh, if we're not having a session, it'll be reflected in the calendar um uh, on the on the thing but i'll be back full time the week after uh but definitely uh i'll we'll send out an email just update you about the schedule for next week and uh talk soon thanks everybody for being here as always have a good one